AOC got arrested. Let's get to the fucking news, finally. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, along with multiple members of Congress, got arrested. Yeah, oh, politicians using TikTok correctly? We'll do that as well. It's fucking Tuesday, bruv. It's Tuesday, innit? And guess what? AOC got arrested alongside multiple members of Congress by friend of the show and my good friend, who I'm going to have on the stream uh, in, a, in a few days, Felix Biederman of Chapo Trap House. Look at him. He's arresting AOC right here, as you can see, in, in broad daylight for not being leftist enough and not being a real leftist. That's right. He is the podcast police. No, she's a member of the house. Felix is a tier one operator, as you guys know. Uh, and also Felix Biederman of Chapo Trap House. He is a tier one operator. And also on top of that, uh, a, a, uh, a podcast police. Here it is in, in broad daylight. Once again, why Felix is arresting AOC. Said my bad. True. Not arrested, just escorted off the street. She chose to put her hands up behind her back for the photo op. Secondhand embarrassment. She isn't even handcuffed. He already apologized for it. Okay, well, she wasn't arrested. But I don't think she's like, I don't think, I don't think she's faking being handcuffed considering that she put her fucking hand up. Defending libs now? Always. Cops tell you to put your hands behind your back regardless of if you're cuffed or not? Yeah, it's a way to fucking manage your, it's a way to easily manage you. They did arrest her. We made a total of 35 arrests for crowding, obstructing, uh, or incommoding DC code. The arrest number includes 17 members of Congress. Why are they flexing? Like, why? Capitol Police is, like, on the one hand, crying about, like, having their fucking fifis hurt or whatever uh, during the January 6th protest where they, like, opened the doors and were like, please come in. Please come in and, uh, you know, fuck shit up, please. It will be great. And then they turn around and they're like, yeah, that's right. We arrested 17 Congress members. Oh, sick, bro. Uh, f uh, fucking fire. Fucking killing it, dude. Thank God. Bag him and tag him. I was in D.C. today buying weed. You're fucking sick, dude. Sick in the head. Can you tell me what the Tucker headline for this clip will be tonight? <clears throat> oh, easy. A lot of people like to protest in D.C. Some of those people were even in D.C. during January 6th. But those people had their lives taken from them. That's right. Antifa is the main reason why those brave patriots traveled all the way to January, uh, traveled all the way to the halls of Capitol Hill, Congress, and stormed in a fervor, getting whipped up in a frenzy by Antifa. And how did the federal government behave? Well, they behaved in a way that is consistent with communist China. They arrested them. They threw them in gulags. But you're not allowed to say that. And then on the other hand, if you want to protest in D.C., you can protest like AOC, everyone's favorite liberal media darling, a radical revolutionary communist. This radical revolutionary communist was arrested, or at least she made it seem like she was arrested, at an abortion rally. Of course, on this broadcast, we don't ask the question, why are uh, members of Congress outside? violating the law, protesting in defense of baby murder. What's going on? Well, let's take a look at the video. Now, I want to offer a warning to our viewers. You're about to see what liberals call police brutality. She's a House member, yeah. House yeah. yeah. No, she's a member of the House. <laughs> That's right. Blinken, you might have missed it. Why is AOC's hands behind her back? Is it perhaps to make it seem as though she is being arrested by the police? The horror! The horror! Liberal said, talking about their darling being arrested by the terrible police. Meanwhile, the police are the ones who are actually handcuffed when they can't kill homeless people. What's going on? As you can see in this photo, right at this very moment, Alexandria Sandy Ocasio-Cortez forgets that she is behaving 
like she's actually arrested and her hands are behind handcuffed behind her back and puts her hand up to do a revolutionary communist uh, sign. The fist, if you will. That will be verbatim, probably a one-to-one Tucker Carlson broadcast making fun of like AOC, faking being arrested, faking handcuffing herself, fake handcuffing herself, and, and all this other shit. And then compared to January 6th, uh, literally, watch this coverage tonight. Know for a motherfucking fact, it is going to be verbatim the exact same thing that I just said. It's going to be pretty funny if you nailed it. I'm almost certain that that is exactly what happened. Huh. God damn, you can make so much money as a conservative. That's the funniest part. That's why I laugh whenever dumb motherfuckers are like, you're, you're such a grifter. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I love grifting. I love... Uh, I love grifting this way, you know, when I could just as easily, infinitely easier, be a fucking conservative grifter and be one of the best. He tricks people into giving him money by asking them directly to give him money. The only time I trick people into giving me money is at the top of the hour. When I tell you there's a 60 second ad break and I tell you that, look, if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or you can do for free with a Twitch prime, Right. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month, you know? Which you should use on your favorite broadcaster, your favorite streamer. Hopefully that's me. Okay? Um, you can also get uh, gifted a sub like uh, Barricade73 gifted five gifted subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads. When you were gone, did you see John Bolton essentially admitted carrying out coups in other countries? Yes. Or like Rye Guy 7926 thank you for the five gifted. Here's the one minute ad break now. What's going on? An anonymous gifter just gifted 25 gifted subs. Back in the day, people weren't afraid to gift subs to a socialist. And now they're afraid. People are out in the streets figuring out exactly where you live. People are out in the streets making fun of you saying, how dare you give 25 gifted subs? Many people are afraid of gifting subs to the Hasanabi broadcast in broad daylight, out and about in public. Tucker Carlson's writer in the chat paying you for the bit. Yeah, you're welcome, Tucker Carlson's writers. Fucking gave that to you. We need Nick Mullen on the show. Nick Mullen. Antho, thank you for the five. Get the subs. Pokey announced that she's taking a break. Taking time off. I've been feeling in need of a mental reset and some time to focus on myself. My live offline. In my opinion, proper breaks are essential to one's health, career, longevity, and I'm so grateful for the support y'all have shown me over the years. Thanks for putting me in a position where I'm able to take time off like this. Looking forward to coming back refreshed and ready to make more content. Take care, stay hydrated, and see you soon. Queen! Don't eat the booty. Gifted five gifted subs. Back in the day, you could eat the booty like groceries. What's going on? Liberals don't want you to eat the booty like groceries. Heroic Vigilant, thank you for the 10 gifted subs as well. Red CXY, Red Six Ski, with the 50 big ones. What is happening? New Jordan Peterson podcast says talking about climate change is racist because of Africa. Official Magnus, thank you for the five gifted subs. Wait, isn't official Magnus Magnus Carlson? Sivoya, thank you for the five gifted subs as well. No, right? I don't think so. Isn't that the. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's not the. The Sphere Hunter, thank you for the five gifted subs as well. Lanoli, I'm gonna call him. No, his Twitch is Mas Kenison. Oh. Um, so yeah, AOC got arrested. Uh, AOC got arrested uh, uh, protesting for climate change. Mike Prisoner, friend of the show, uh, PSL, uh, and, and a, a, as real of a leftist as you can get. Also thinks this is cool, so everybody can suck me. So yes, he was actually arrested. I don't know. Seems like a good example to say when many millions of young supporters are looking for, looking to you for guidance in a major crisis. Hope it inspires more. There you go. More theater. You can say that a lot about civil disobedience actions by labor unions, etc. Doesn't discredit or invalidate them. The point is to do something dramatic to reach millions with new reports. Show that what militancy is urgently and needed, urgently needed, and inspire others to do the same. Um, Mike Preisner has been literally arrested uh, in the past. I thought it was abortion rights. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, not climate change. Uh, well, he got that wrong. It is for abortion rights, but still. Parkland sensing trial started yesterday. It's been super rough to watch. My heart breaks for those kids. Dude, I'm not watching that. Democratic lawmakers include Cocesa Cortez, Talib, uh, Spire, and more arrested for abortion rights in protest uh, outside of the Supreme Court. Uh, I think that is the least that people can do. There's 
Did he mean political climate instead of climate change? Maybe. Aren't the green bandanas affiliated with the group that organizes the right? Yeah, I don't know if it's Revcom affiliated, the green bandanas. But I have seen them wear that. Ilhan was arrested as well. Omar staff confirmed her arrest Tuesday afternoon. And Congresswoman issued the following response on social media. Today, I was arrested while participating in a civil disobedience action with my fellow members of Congress outside the Supreme Court. I will continue to do everything in my power to raise the alarm about the assault on our reproductive rights. I've talked about this issue many times on this broadcast. You already fucking know what my thoughts are on this issue. You already know how I feel about this. Um, it is uh, Hi, preposterous that this is a real thing. It's preposterous that the American government is doing this, but it's not. The Revcoms do use it, but the green bandana is originated during the Argentine fight for reproductive rights. Oh, okay. She is posing for the picture with her hands behind her back, though. Dude, you are such an annoying little nitpicky aesthetics liberal, by the way. If you are being like, oh, her hands are behind her back, specifically because she wants to make it seem like she's being arrested, and not because, like, cops fucking make you do that to, like, move you around easier, I'm just gonna say it one more time. You are just as aesthetics focused as the fucking smarmy little liberals that you despise. Just understand that. You're just doing it from, like, a leftist perspective. Okay? She's not white. Chat, she doesn't want to get shot. Okay, chill the fuck out. No cop is going to shoot Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. You're psychotic if you think that. Cop, it's literally career suicide. If a cop in D.C. arrests a politician, you got to be a child. I think any D.C. cop will put a politician in cuffs. There's so many leftists shitting on her for optics and claiming she's an actress is beyond dumb. Yes, because the peak of leftist activism revolves around tweeting fucking quotes on the internet. When will you find out? When will you understand? There are things that AOC does that I disagree with, okay? There are things that AOC does that I disagree with, certainly. Um, uh, like, you know, unconditional support to Israel. Or uh, maybe uh, sometimes uh, feeling conflicted about her unconditional support for Israel. These are things that I am frustrated by, okay? But ultimately, she raises a lot of fucking money for the causes that she genuinely cares about instead of trying to fucking fundraise off of disasters like the rest of the goddamn Democratic Party, she is the bare minimum good politician, okay? And it's something that I always mention, uh, but, but for some fucking weird reason, for some weird reason, people have refused to recognize this. People on the internet that think like, oh, fuck electoralism, that's not the way to do it, Refuse to recognize that, like, electoralism could be a good mechanism for organizing, okay? Electoralism normalizes certain kinds of concepts. That's the reason why Bernie Sanders running on the main stage during the Democratic primaries in 2016 revitalized the leftist movement in a meaningful capacity. So shut the fuck up, okay? AOC is not going to be the perfect uh, revolutionary person that you expect her to be. She's not a revolutionary Marxist anyway. She's literally, quite literally, exhausting state machinations, okay? But ultimately, she does a lot of good. So I don't care. I will continue to criticize her when she doesn't do good shit, when she does bad things, but this is not one of them. And there are people who are way more radical than you, okay, like Mike, who also agree with me on this issue, that think that this is a good thing that AOC did. Okay, I'm sorry that she's not a fucking third world Mao, uh, you know, third world uh, uh, Maoist. I'm, I'm sorry that she's not, uh, you know, uh, personally fucking bombing like uh, military bases or some shit, whatever the fuck you think uh, a, a true revolutionary should be doing. Okay. But ultimately, if you agree that like you can move the needle a little bit through electoralism, even on the front of like uh, genuinely, even when it comes to like making certain movements uh, popular. You know, she's doing a good job on that front. And I agree with her. Staff in our office have taken the first steps toward unionization along with seven other offices in the House. We strongly support the right for congressional workers to unionize and look forward to supporting our staff through this process. I feel like chat doesn't realize a lot of leftism is online. Most people in the wild think socialism is bad and will laugh at you when you tell them to shut, the, shut up about being transphobic, etc. Yeah. What's crazy is she never said she's a communist, yet every leftist expects this from her. I think she's good, and yes, I'm critical on her. There will never be an ideal candidate that fills all our needs. No, dude, because the ideal fantasized revolutionary that people think about is literally fucking rising up and, and organizing with arms and shit, okay? And that's not going to happen. 